ever uh, write the book in, in one sitting and just really feel like you're done writing? Or is it a process? No, no. Uh, forgive me for laughing, but, um, you know, I've never bought a pencil that didn't have an eraser, and I've never <laughs> bought a computer that didn't have a backspace key. And, uh, and, and I figure they put those there because they pretty much know you're going to need them. And uh, I don't know of any artist, I mean, uh, maybe there are some, maybe there are illustrators or writers who can just sit down and write this stuff. Uh, I'm told that Mozart was able to just sit down and write music. But uh, I think he's about the only guy who could just sit down and write. Everybody else I know, every other author, every book I've ever written, I've written five, six, ten, twenty times. It just, uh, you know, I, I know that's not good news for you kids, but <laughs> really, uh it takes a lot. It's kind of like um, carving something. You have to take a little bit here, a little bit there, and you have to keep fiddling with it. At least that's the way I, that I write. I just never sit down and write something. I'll do a little Cajun accent for you so you can hear how it sounds. I'll do the beginning of Petite Rouge. It goes like this. Back in the swamp where that Spanish moss grow, I heard me a story from a long time ago. In a little old house that had been built out of wood, live a girl people called Petite Rouge Riding Wood. And that's how they talk. The Cajun people have this funny French accent. So um, I just found it so delightful. And, and I truly you know, loved the sound of it, the music of it. Uh, I, I started adding it in. And then if I make it round, a little round head and floppy ears, Get funny rap, okay? Okay, so get rid of that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And then, if I just give it a round head and round ears, okay? Oh, you can use this basic face, uh, but you put buck teeth right there and kind of like grass, roundy. You get it. Your stove pencils today, huh? <laughs> they are furiously uh, trying to keep up. Say goodbye. There he goes. Oh no! Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do superhero lettering. Watch. Come down below the T, up like this, and then go to the right. You want to be pretty far to the right, and just put a dot. Now what? Make a straight line from each corner to the dot. And look what happens. Whoa. Oh. See how that looks? Oh. Okay. Let me show you another one. And you can do this with anything. You can do this with any of those letters. For example, uh, maybe you have a science project and it's on space. S P A C E. Okay, now watch. Instead of just putting the hole in the P, it looked like Saturn. I'll put a star there, something like that. Kids, you can do this with your name. If your name has any of these letters, A, B, D, O, P, Q, R, you can, you can write your name out, write your name, and then in the hole, I mean, maybe you're good at, you know, maybe you're good at uh, playing soccer, draw a soccer ball, or maybe you're good at um, cheerleading, draw some palms, or you're good at playing guitar, draw a, a musical note, or something like that. Thank you.